Yo, what's going on guys? Camille here. Today, Baiju has been officially announced in the uh, 3.6 livestream. In this video, we're just going to be explaining all of his talents so you guys understand how he works and maybe his potential roles. So yeah, without further ado, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let's begin. Alright, so Baiju is going to be a 5-star Dendro Catalyst user, and he's going to ascend with HP when you upgrade his level. That's pretty much it for his general info. Alright, so first of all, starting off with his auto attacks, they're pretty much just going to be like Dendro normal auto attacks with the catalyst they're not gonna have great scaling they're just gonna scale off with attack which you don't want to build on them anyways but yeah they look cool i guess um his charge attack is gonna look pretty cool other than that there's nothing really special about them you probably don't want to use them unless you're using them in like a very untraditional way now moving on to his elemental skill um you're just gonna throw in like a thing it's like a snake you can say it's just gonna like spin around then hit enemies and then go back to you and when you catch it back it's gonna heal the whole team it's pretty much like Kale's, you can say it's it's gonna have 10 seconds of cooldown the um skills damage is gonna scale off of your attack which is very unfortunate because as i said you're not gonna build that and the healing is gonna scale off with hp so it's gonna have kind of like a split scaling situation but the thing is you just want it generally for like danger application so it's not really that bad but yeah the attack damage is gonna be like pretty much useless the attack scaling is not even that great so yeah you don't even really want to build attack on baiju now finally for his elemental burst which is kind of the most important thing in this kit um when you press in your elemental burst it's just gonna Gonna cover you with a shield it's gonna last him for like a specific duration and in that duration you're gonna have a shield every 2.5 seconds and then that shield is just gonna do pretty much the same thing your elemental skill does which is um heal your active character not your whole party and also attack the enemies with dendro attacks that's gonna happen every time your shield expires so once every 2.5 seconds or when the shield expires so if your shield breaks before 2.5 seconds it's gonna heal you and attack enemies too which is likely what's gonna actually happen because the the shield is gonna be like very weak it's not really meant to be like a shield shield it's just like kind of for interruption and stuff like that so don't count on it on being like an actual shield that can you know absorb multiple big hits and stuff like that no it's not which is logical because it's just gonna regenerate every 2.5 seconds but you know still you should know that um the shield health is obviously gonna scale off with your max hp um the healing is gonna scale off with hp too and the damage is unfortunately gonna scale off with attack so again you're not really gonna be dealing that much damage so basically his elemental burst is that um a shield every 2.5 seconds and when that shield is destroyed or just like expires it's gonna deal damage and heal you that's it um his burst is gonna last him for 14 seconds so you're gonna have like 5.6 shields or six you can say because the last shield is just gonna be destroyed and then you can have another one and that's it so you can have a maximum total of six shields with 20 seconds of cooldown so you're gonna have only six seconds of downtime where you don't have any shields or healing or anything like that um the only kind of problem is that it's gonna cost 80 energy which might be a bit of a problem it's not like a full problem it can be managed but you know it's not good but yeah that's it for his elemental burst i think it's also pretty simple it's just gonna generate shields the shields are gonna be destroyed you get healing and deal damage that's it now moving on to his passives the first passive is just gonna be pretty simple too um it just depends on the character you have on the field if the character you have on the field has less than 50 percent hp baiju is gonna gain 20 percent healing bonus just like that so when you throw in your elemental mental skill or around um, the healing from his shield and stuff like that are going to be increased by 20% if the character you have on the field has less than 50% HP. And then if the character you have on the field has um equal or more than 50% HP, Baiju is going to gain 25% dendro damage bonus, which is just going to increase his damage. Now for the second passive, it's just that for every 1000 HP you have below 50,000, it's going to increase your um burning, bloom and hyper bloom and burgeon damage by 2% and aggravate and spread by 0.8%. It's gonna do that every time your character is gonna get healed by the shield. So it can basically increase the burning, bloom, hyper bloom, and burgeon damage by 100%, and increase the aggravate and spread damage by 40% as a maximum if you have like 50,000 HP. If you have more than 50,000, it's not gonna count. This is the maximum it could go. As I said, every time a character gets healed by the shield, um, he's gonna gain this buff, and it's gonna last for 6 seconds. You're gonna also have a shield every 2.5 seconds, so you can switch characters characters and have this buff on multiple characters which can also be good in some cases but yeah this is pretty much it for baiju's kit as you guys can see he's just gonna be like a healer slash kind of shielder he's gonna be applying dendro and mainly he's gonna be a buffer so you can sum him up as being like a support you can say i mean you can think of him as just being like a better yao yao a much better actually it's not even like comparable i'm not saying he's like comparable or anything like that but he's just a better role like yao yao he's gonna be a dendro healer which we're gonna need but you know obviously he's gonna heal 
much more than Yao Yao. Um, you can use him in a lot more teams. He deals more damage than Yao Yao, even though it's not even that much, but he still deals more damage. He can also heal off field, which is very, very good. But yeah, generally you could use him in like aggravate teams, bloom teams and stuff like that. You can even use him as like a driver. He has a lot of uses. We're going to talk about him more in his guides, obviously. But yeah, in this video, I just gave you guys like a first glance of Baiju if you don't understand his kit already. If that video helps you, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and see y'all in the next video. Peace.